Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create our own Shopify sections and you will learn how you can do it by yourself. Make sure you practice after watching the video. In the previous video, we saw how the image with text worked and how was the code written and in this video, we will add our own one. So it is going to be a lot clean. So if you add, click on add sections, these are all the sections available here and it depends on the team, how many sections they have and they can, they can put it here. Each of them have category. This one is related to block, images, and product, promotion, and store information. You can have uh, another custom category if you want. I'll show you how you can add it. So if I come to my theme here, let's create our own. I can duplicate some of these files and modify it, but let's create from scratch and see how everything is working. So I'll create a section called profile.liquid. Make sure you give it a proper name so it should be understandable for any other developer who are going to work on that. So I'll give it profile. The reason is because this section must have a setting of image. The user should upload their image, their name and a little bio and it should show a nice profile of that user. I know this is not useful but that is an example I can uh, make for you. So in this section, you must have a schema section here. If I come to the Shopify team development here, these are the sections tag. The first thing you must have is a schema. This is the first thing you must have. I will come to my team and you will open it. The schema is start from here and it will end here. If you see anything with the bracket and ampersand with a word here, these are like expression in liquid. Every of them has a starting and it has an ending. For example, a schema start and a schema end. And the convention is very really easy. It is like if a starting and end if is going to be the ending of it. And it is just the keyword of end at the, uh, in the, like a prefix of end that will end that tag for you. It is like an HTML tag, a starting, finishing here. And you will have if here, if your condition and end if you have unless we should be talk in the future videos but for now you know this is the schema and this is the end of the schema the schema will tell shopify hey i have these settings display uh let's say i say that this is the section setting and we will give it a name of profile for now and i'll save it if i save it you will come to the theme here you can refresh it if you refresh it and you click on the add section it will not appear here it means you can try it this is not the only option you need the required option there is one more this is called the preset you can add the preset there are a lot of options here but for now i'll copy this preset and i'll remove most of the code because i just want a clean code here first of all i do need the blocks because we'll talk about the block in the future video. For now, I don't need any setting for this one. And one more thing you should understand. This is a JSON file. JSON in JavaScript is, JSON is like an object, but in JavaScript, you can add, let's say this is the lost object in JSON. You can have a comma, but here you cannot have. If you have a comma, it will give you an error. So make sure you don't have a comma for the lost property on that section. So this is the, pre the preset. Preset will show a default value for your section. For now, it is the it has a category which is called custom content. I'll make this one also profile. If I come to my code here, uh, to my team here, you can see these are the block. You have collection, you have image. This is exactly the category name. If I am writing profile, it will create another category called profile, and it has a name called text. For now, it does not have to do anything if i save it for now and let's come to the theme and see if it is going to appear here i will refresh it and we will wait for the page to load now we can add a section and if i scroll down here uh here it is the profile and it is something called text here why it is called text if I come here, because we name it text, and that's why I can give it a name of user profile. You can save it, and I'll come to my code. 
and if I refresh it, this text should change to user profile. And if I click at inside these sections, I have nothing. If you can check out, like you can add text, it is going to load it. At the time that you are bringing any changes, make sure you refresh the page because if you are not refreshing the page, it is trying to add a text, but text does not exist on the setting anymore. So I will refresh the page. Now it should come with the new setting and this time it should work but the sections we have here is completely blank because we don't have any setting again i will come to the code here uh, to the shopify documentation the reason i use this is because it will make it easy for you to navigate here and add setting there is another option called settings inside this one all the settings will be there so you can copy this one this will be easy and you can add it here uh, the reason I put a lot of spaces because I want it to be a lot more readable for you. So I'll put it here. This has a setting called header. It is text and it is label text. It has nothing. Basically, this is not a setting. This is just a text that's showing I am a header and the default value is going to be hello world. I will remove this one and it is how it is going to be for now. And let's give it profile sitting as a label so this is just a text displaying no sitting i'll come to my code here if i add the section for now user profile you can click add this time it should add that for me and the section is empty here for now i'll save it but i cannot add an empty section because it does not have anything inside this one that's why i will come to my code here and add some sitting the settings will be also an object like a JSON now you can open this one and give it first of all a type the type will define what this section uh, what this setting is going to be it can be an image picker user can pick an image so how you are going to identify this one you can give it an ID and these are the required parameter the required parameter that you have to write for them I'll give it user IMG as the ID here and now you can have a label for them it should show for the user and for the label I will say user image or user not image actually it should be user photo and it will be display for the user we will add more in the future video but for now this is what we want I'll save it and you can duplicate the same setting and bring some changes to this one for example this one type should be text and the id should be user name and this will show the user how to write their name i will save it for now and also the team watch is running here check out i have an uh, a little error here that shows like your json tag schema has problem and to fix that i'll come here and see where is the problem here and most of the problem happens sometimes because you add a separate comma at the end of the object and these are the things that happen so if you read this properly it is going to say invalid schema tag and this is not uh, most of the time uh, a nice error handling but for now if I check out after label I have an sub, um, the extra comma here I can remove it if I save it this time it should successfully upload this one for me yes everything was uploaded successfully I'll come to my theme here I will refresh it again and let's see how it is going to display my setting sounds easy right I don't need to write a lot of settings these are the basic stuff also you can add this one add one more so I will duplicate this one I have a keyboard shortcut for this one that's why it will be easy for me and this one is going to be rich underscore text it is going to be a rich text and this is going to be user bio or user information and you can say user bio or biography you can write the full text here but for now if i check out the profile sitting here now i have a sitting which is going to be here a user profile and i have a profile name and the user can image like select an image here this is the input what is this one if i come here this is because we put the type as a text if you remove this one this is the ID and this one can have a type of header also check out this one if I write the type of header 
Yes, let's save it. Let's see if this is working fine. Also, I have an error here because of the type is rich text and this is going to be header is invalid and sometimes the header the ID will duplicate with this one that's why it will not get that one so for now I'll remove this one because I know I don't need this but if I save it I have another error here down there is schema the user bio type is invalid if you check out the rich text there is something wrong with this one and if you are writing the type as incorrect you can come to the documentation and check out how many type you have in the setting here I will search for rich text oops it is not showing here and the proper place for this one is going to be if you come to the schema then you have setting and this should say the setting schema here this is where you can find full format of the types if you click on this one it is going to navigate you to setting here and here I can search for rich text which is one word it is not two word that's why it gave me an error here I can remove this one save it for now and boom it should upload for me also for the header if you check out you have article block URL and video URL which are new here you have product you can pick product you can pick font collection colors we'll discuss them in the future video but for now let's check out how it is going to appear here we refresh it looking nice if I open this one yes user image name and a little bio so for now this is going to be the bio for the user and I am going to say this is going as name is John though oh, this is the popular name everyone use when they are coding so if I come to the main fashion I can pick someone from here let's say this guy here I'll pick this one these are all the freebie images by Shopify you can use them and the license is free if you add them here they are in the setting but you have never said where they should display this uh, setting and how you display them but if you save it it is already saved here so you can add as many as you want but it will not appear anywhere and if you want them to show you can come here inside div and you can oops oops I did a lot of control Z and you can remove this one and you can write a div tag here and start displaying those images here so the video is going to get long but I will do that in the next video I hope it has been informative thank you for watching make sure you practice what I'm teaching you because this is going to be a little tough if you do not practice on every video so that's it and in the next video I'll show you how you can display this here properly thank you for watching see you in the next video